What's going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your third C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I want to go over a little more about printing text out on the screen. Now in the last tutorial you remember that we could use that special thing called C out which was technically called the output object and the less than less than sign which was called the stream insertion operator to print out text on the screen and the way we did this is we added double quotes after and whatever we printed out in these double quotes like boy I love bacon whatever we put inside those double quotes would just print out on the screen so if we go ahead and we built and run this we saw boy I love bacon right on the screen simple enough but now what I want to go over is just a little more about C out and I just want to make sure you guys understand how it works so each function is made up of these things called statements and typically people put one statement per line of code and remember all statements end with semicolons so say we wanted to print out something else out on the screen we'll you write C out less than less than and write something else like and ham just like that so you might be thinking alright I got a feeling I know what this is gonna do on the first line it's gonna print out boy I love bacon and on the second line it's gonna print out and ham because you know that's how it appears in our code so that's what it's gonna do but if you go ahead and build and run this it says boy I love bacon and ham all on the same line of code and if you scratch your head saying alright why exactly does it do that the reason it does that be is because when you're using this thing called C out it's called printing it out into a stream and it pretty much takes all your characters and prints them out in the same stream so whenever this stream is done you're not telling it to move to a new line you're saying print out these characters and then stop right at the end of this line so then this stream starts printing out and again you're not telling it anywhere to move to a new line computer programs are very picky and they need to be told exactly what to do so in order to move to a new line we need to add a special symbol I guess you would say and the symbol is this first of all you need to add another stream insertion operator and you can go ahead and write ENDL what this means is end line and now when we go ahead and build and run it check what happens it runs boy I love bacon and then it runs end line and before your stream insertion operator would be right here but now since you said end line it go ahead and it ends this line and it moves it to a next line so basically all you have to remember is anytime you want to move to a new line use the character end L which is code word for end line now if you're saying alright that's easy enough to remember so let me go ahead and show you something that might be even easier for you inside your quotation marks if you go ahead and add backslash n this is basically the same as adding a new line backslash n is the code I guess that it all is code for go to a new line so now it's gonna say boy I love bacon and then it's gonna come across this thing called backslash n it's gonna say hold on what is this backslash n oh I know what it is it's the symbol to move to a new line so this is basically just an alternative way to move to new lines the only difference is when NL you needed to add another insertion operator and then write NL right there with a new line you write it inside the quotation marks because it gets interpreted in a different kind of way so let's go ahead and build and run this and just verify that yep boy I love bacon new line and ham so again like I said whenever you want to print text out on a new line you have to be very specific with C++ and tell it exactly what to do and you can do this either using the NL or the new line that goes inside the quotation marks so aside from this you might be thinking alright so I printed this out and I got this on the next line but what if I wanted a blank line in between these two well all you would have to do is write new line new line and then when you go ahead and you build and run this it would say alright boy I love bacon new line new line and then it printed out and ham simple enough pretty cool huh and I guess one other thing I can show you is if you go ahead and do C out insertion operator um you can do things like this boy new line I new line love new line bacon new line so you know you're not only limited to you know one new line per statement you can have multiple new lines um, in a single statement so now it says 
boy I love bacon pretty cool huh so that's all the basics I want to teach you guys for this tutorial again I wanted to stress how to print out text on the screen and also the stream insertion operator it's basically this each stream insertion resumes it's printing out wherever the previous one stopped so if you want to move it to a new line you need to use one of these new line symbols either NL or new line so that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial now you should be a pro at printing text out on the screen so you know we're not ready to uh, bundle up this program and sell it to Microsoft yet but hey it's a start so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions go to my website thenewboston.com and ask me on my forum so thank you guys for watching and I uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video.